Hello, I want to show you how to programmatically access your Netlify forms. This is a site where I have a Netlify form. Let me quickly fill out the form. I will put in my name and put in USA and I'll submit this. Thank you, back to the site. Fantastic. So now if I come back to my forms tab in the site on Netlify, I should see that I submitted a form a few seconds ago. And if I click into it, I will see the form that I just submitted. What if I tell you that you can get exactly the same data with Netlify APIs? Let me show you how. Here, I want to use this tool called Postman to show you the Netlify endpoint you need to call and what the result will look like. As you can see, the site ID is required. So let me move this aside and get the site ID. If you want to get your Netlify site ID, you come down to site settings, go all the way down to site details, and then you will see your Netlify site ID right here. So I will just copy this, come back, and then update the endpoint here. I'll paste this in here, and that's it. This is the API endpoint we need to call to get our form submissions for this particular site. And the next thing that you want to do is handle authorization for this API call, right? If you switch over to the headers tab, uh, you can add an authorization header. And you will need a bearer token for this. So to get it, go all, all the way back to your Netlify site, go to your user settings, select applications, and here you can create a personal access token that you can use to authorize your API calls on Netlify. So let's quickly create one and I'll call it uh, demo Netlify form and this is my personal access token that I can use to authorize the API calls. So now that that's done, I can come back to my postman and make it a bearer token and paste in my access token. So now I can go ahead and run this API call and I see that I get all my form data back. Fantastic. Uh, well, now that that is done, I can actually show you how to use this on a front end code. Here I have a form uh, that says uh, fetch form data. It's kind of like just a button uh, that if you click on it, ideally it should go ahead and fetch the form data for you from, from your front end applications, right? So I'll get this endpoint and bring it all the way back here. And the header as well, I will get this bearer token that I can use on my front end. Actually, I can get rid of this here. And I'll save that. And the project is already running on port 888 because I'm using Netlify Dev. So if I refresh, it should be here. So ideally, the expectation is that when I click this button, I should have uh, my form data logged in the console for me. So let's go ahead and try that. And here we go. We get the same form data back from our client. Uh, of course, it goes without saying that I'm adding my access token here from, on the client uh, for demonstration purposes, which I will go ahead and get rid of it right away because I'm done. Um, and that token will no longer work, which is also a good feature to have. Uh, and that is how you access your form data programmatically via APIs. <music>